So some of the retail numbers today, of course, very strong. You've been talking about Sephora at JCPenney for as long as I can yeah, remember. Well, it really helped. A lot helped. of that is, you know, like I'm a big, big fan of Estee Lauder. Now, Estee Lauder, by the way, got hurt by Hong Kong. We did, we're getting a read through that Hong Kong's a little bit better from a different couple of different companies, including, by the way, Disney, who said Hong Kong's a little better. Um, so I'm looking at, this is, at, 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 Sephora is Estee Lauder. Sephora is uh, Ulta. That's why Ulta keeps going up. And I, I just think that that was a brilliant move that Penny made. Now, Penny's moving a little more aggressive in the houseware, so that's a very good move by them. Ellis is very smart. People say, oh, well, that quarter was disappointing. The stock ran because of Macy's. The stock ran because of Nordstrom. I mean, you know, come on. I mean, let's if Kohl's was up, people, of course, would take JCPenney. JCPenney's going to be a return of capital story in 2017, I believe. That's not... Uh, that's not what they're saying. But when you have a billion dollars in EBITDA, they can begin to do the things that Penny used to do, boost the dividend, buy back stock. I, I really like the developing story, Penny, Sephora, houseware.